Welcome, one and all, to the first review portion of my first 646, where we did Nuclear Throne, as you can see down below. This is kind of the style I'm going to do the review in. It's not going to be too long. It's not going to be like a crazy long video where I kind of discuss everything. You saw the gameplay. You had a bunch of episodes to see. Um, this is where I'm just going to give you six quick facts. Uh, or not even facts, I guess. Just kind of opinions on the game and what I thought of it. And it's kind of like a recommendations or uh, kind of like a pros and cons list, we'll say. Um, they're not really in any order. Um, and then when we're done, I have a, a score that I will give it down at the bottom, which you can see is already kind of there. Um, so to start it all off... The first thing and the most prominent thing I think with the game is that it's fast paced, has a lot of action. Um, you pretty much start up a run and you're going right away. Uh, it takes you a little time to ramp up and get guns that you want and that you feel comfortable with and that are good. Um, but you get into the action right away. There's no tutorial stuff, none of that. You're just, you're going and that's great. I love that. I love the fact that you're getting guns every level, that you're just going without having to um, pause and see what happens and and... Uh, level up a character or or swap out weapons it's just everything's on the fly it's quick it's easy it doesn't stop the action and that's what the game does best after that there is a, uh, a a plethora of characters in the game that are interesting and unique each character really does feel distinct um whether you have fish that rolls you have crystal that's very uh she has the shield and so she's very defensive or if you have um you know a character more like eyes that kind of tries to play offensively because he has a teleport he tries to get in there and push the bullets away from him or melting if you just want to do pure damage um you have very different characters that aren't just kind of reskins of each other that do very similar things each one has its own niche and i feel like that fits in there really well um the first kind of contentious point about the game is that it does have a really steep skill curve um you get in there and you immediately just hit with enemies over and over and it takes you a little while to learn what each gun does um how many hits each each enemy is going to take um and and so on and so forth and it's it's not an easy game as you saw now i know i'm i'm no pro at video games i'm not the best player that there is um but i did find that after even i have a ton of hours in the game um and coming back to it after such a long hiatus i struggled quite a bit to get my feet wet and get going it took me five episodes just to make it past fucking big dog so um, you see that there's there's a lot into the game to learn um, and to figure out and, and climbing that hill to get to where you feel, oh, man, that was a good run. I feel like I made a lot of progress takes a little while. Um, so I don't know necessarily if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's going to vary person to person. Um, I kind of like that it's hard, but sometimes I wish that the game would give you a little more because you get hit and you get hit and you get hit and you get some heals and that's nice. But you're still stuck with pistol shotgun and you keep getting pistol shotgun, sledgehammer, screwdriver, wrench like you're not getting perfect things uh, every run. And while that's good, it feels like um, I had a lot of runs that I didn't get any good guns. And part of that is probably ignorance on my part, not knowing which guns are good and which guns are bad. But I found myself getting shotgun a lot, all of the melee weapons a lot. And while I, I know melee builds probably could be good, uh, it didn't feel like they were. Felt like you needed a uh, scary face and impact wrist just to make the build work. Um, and you weren't getting that every run, so kind of made it difficult. Next thing is that every run you take is going to be quick, but it's not too quick. Uh, Nuclear Throne does a great job at hitting that kind of nice median margin of like 12 to 20 minutes for a run um at least a, a run that goes you know beginning to end to get to throne i know i wasn't super far off but there was still a good bit to go um and actually the more powered up you get the quicker floors actually start going um i know that you can loop in the game so once you've beaten the throne you can go back and start doing it all again you can keep looping and keep going so Really, the run can be any length, but the main runs, the stuff that you're going to be running while you're learning that I played in all six of my six for six videos um, were quick and nice and felt you had a sense of accomplishment, but it wasn't too long. Whereas Isaac, you know, you're pretty much always in for between 40 and 50 minutes for a run um, and stuff like that. And there's some other games that I can't think of off the top of my head that have some shorter runs that aren't necessarily bad. Uh, Dead Cells is a good one. Um, you know, you get through Dead Cells pretty quick. You kind of beat it and then you kind of love saying that felt really quick. I didn't feel much of a challenge. This hits a nice sweet spot, I think. Um, the biggest negative to me in the game is that it is locked at 30 FPS. I feel like the game would run a lot smoother and feel a lot more impactful if it ran uh, at a higher frame rate. Now, 30 FPS is not a uh, death sentence for the game. It is intended to run at 30 FPS. You cannot uncap it from running at 30 FPS, and it is made with that in mind, and I understand that, and I, I, I see why Vlambeer... Uh, went for that style and everyone um, 
who wants to change it knows they can't because the game would just run at twice the speed, obviously. Um, but it does feel like a game that kind of should run. It, it just even 60 would be nice. Um, some things don't feel super fluid. Now it is, it is a, it sits at 30, it stays at 30, does not change, uh, which is really, really nice. But it just, it, it feels like 60 would make things a little bit better. There's some animations um, and some fluidity that doesn't feel there because it's at 30 FPS and it feels like Sometimes you go, oh, that should have landed, but it didn't. And there, there feels like a, a slight desync almost, in my opinion, that because it's at 30 FPS, it kind of feels slow at times. It feels muddy uh, might be the right term. And it doesn't come up often, but when you notice it, you notice it. Um, the last thing I want to say about the game is that the mutations uh, are very varied, I will say, um, and definitely impact gameplay. No run feels the same when you're taking different stuff, although I do think that there is a clear... Um, uh, top tier middle tier bottom tier i think of mutations um strong spirit is just very good in my opinion um rabbit paw second stomach stuff like that is very good and then you have some of the crutch abilities like i think eagle eye could be a little bit crutch but it kind of depends on the weapon as they do have variancies built into them already um rhino skin obviously i think boiling veins might fit in there you know you can avoid explosions but not having to think about that later in a run is really nice um, there's a couple other ones in there as well that I think are, are interesting. Uh, Recycled Gland, I think, is really good. Um, I think it's a, a, a takeable one, maybe in that middle tier as well. But then there's stuff like Laser Brain or Homing Bolts, which I didn't get to test. Um, and that's because I didn't ever have, by the time they came up for the first couple of mutations, I didn't have a bolt weapon user. I didn't have a, an energy weapon. Um, but it, to me, the one time I took laser brain, it, it didn't feel like it panned out for me. It didn't feel like I was doing more damage. Um, whereas when you take rabbit paw, you notice the drops right away. You notice you're getting a lot more ammo drops. You notice you're getting a lot more med kit drops. It, it feels impactful. Um, and that being said, I really have not played the game in a while. Um, and, and through my six videos, I, I didn't take a whole, um, swath of different stuff. I, I kind of stuck with what was tried and true until the end when I started taking eagle eyes and noticed it. Man, that, my accuracy felt a lot better. I wasn't missing shots. Um, in my opinion, kind of changes depending on what guns you have as well, but that's just me. Um, I kind of do wish that some of the mutations were explained better. Um, like there's one that is on hit bullets sometimes uh, are regenerated into ammo, we'll say. Um, or most hit bullets, I think. And it makes you wonder, okay, I, how, what's the percentage on this? Is it a 40% chance? Is it a 90% chance? There's a big variance that you don't know there. Um, some kills regenerate ammo. That when I took that one, it didn't feel nearly like my my ammo regeneration was better. I felt like maybe one out of every ten gave me one bullet back or a couple bullets back. Um, it was hard to tell. So I don't know. That's just me. But I, I kind of wish that some of the percentages are out there. But I, I guess that's kind of the point is that they're not. So. Um, but anyways, that uh, that's kind of my six facts about the game. My six my six quick picks about the game of things that I noticed and I wanted to tell you guys it is a game that i would recommend uh first and foremost i think nuclear throne is a great game um i played it a lot through the beta um, before they released it and i thought it was wonderful they changed a lot of things i remember and you're getting a patch every couple of days for balance changes new guns all this kind of stuff um there's a lot more in it that uh i didn't get to see because i'm bad at the game um but i do think this is something that could make its way onto the channel um not in the near future but at some point um, it is something that I would like to uh, play some more of. And I enjoyed it, but I would probably play a lot off cam to see if I could get any better. So with that said, I, I will recommend it. I do want to show uh, the score now. I, um, I, I like to say that I recommend stuff or that I liked stuff before showing the score because sometimes people can take a score and go, man, that is a really high score. It must be a really good game and feel flat or feel lied to or vice versa. Where they say that's a low score. He hated it. And it was something that I really liked and it just had a couple of things that... Um, kind of dissuaded me from giving it a higher score so nuclear throne from me and i played on pc i know it is on other consoles it's a five out of six um the reason i gave it that score is that i felt that it was a very solid game and it just had a couple problems that kind of kept it from being that upper echelon of a game um i will say that i am doing half points as well so it could uh, five and a half four and a half three and a half, three and a half etc they are all eligible to be in there if i find that a game um is worth it um so I don't even think that it is just a flat scoring, but for the first game on the channel for the six for six, five out of six for Nuclear Throne. 
Um, go ahead and pick it up on Steam if you want. It's available on a host of other platforms as well. So go ahead and do some research about that. But I want to thank you guys for watching this. Uh, pretty much it. Next time uh, we do a 6 for 6 video, it'll be a brand new game. Uh, that'll be out this coming Sunday. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching this. Hope you all enjoyed the first series of 6 for 6. And I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.